We cooking something delicioso. Malabar cooks. The way you cooking this rapper looks. Malabar cooks. We cooking something. Ramadan Kareem everyone, this is Faris Dehbi and I'm here with my brother Farooq Dehbi and we're very excited to host one of Talabat's Cooks episodes in Ramadan. So today we are going to be cooking one of the most amazing famous soups in Morocco which is called Harira! But we don't even have the ingredients. Farooq, don't worry because we'll be ordering the ingredients through Talabat app. Mm. You have no idea how easy it is to order the groceries through the app. Really? Look, I just put all the list down in here and I'm about to place it. Okay, yalla, place the order. Iftar is approaching. Okay. No, wait, wait. They have the contactless delivery option? It's, it's really insane because they want to make sure they are safe during this holy month. Wallah, interesting. Yalla, make the order. <laughs> Chillin' at the crib, cook a little bit I just started, I gotta commit I just learned and I'm learning it quick Wow, you ain't gotta go out Order online right now or get up and cook if you don't know how In order to make this incredible masterpiece Harira Whoa um, we need some masterpiece ingredients. Tell us, Farouk, what we got. So, to start off, I need to mention we need some parsley and celery. Mm, interesting. Also, we need 100 grams of lentil. Of course, we cannot do this without our amazing, our amazing grated tomatoes. Yes. Okay. And not to forget, 200 grams, not one, but 200 grams of chickpeas. Of course. Speaking of tomato again, we have the tomato paste, Ooh. and that's also a very important... Two spoons of tomato paste. Two? Okay. Yeah, and one of the most important ingredients in Harira, which is beef. 200 grams of beef. I will go with flour. Half a cup of flour will be enough. Nice. And not to forget, 100 gram of vermicelli. It's important too. But... Obviously, we cannot mix all of these without the amazing, amazing spices, of course. So, we'll start with the chopped onions. Yes, one of the most important spices we need is black pepper. Of course, we cannot do it also without the salt. I mean, come on. We have salt. to. I mean, <laughs> say, say, say the rest. Let's see. Ginger, of okay. course. What else? And this one is turmeric, is one of the most important um, spices also. And <laughs> those packed Mr. spices, they do a lot. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yalla. So this is gonna be good. Oh, not to forget, water, two liters of water, and oil. Oil. Okay. Right. <laughs> We're ready to do this. I'm ready. Let's put the oil first before we cook. For sure. And we'll start with our two main ingredients that we have, which is the beef, the 200 grams of okay. beef, and, uh, and the chopped onions. We right. put them together until they cook very well. We got some first. chickpeas, lentils, of and we will add it to the beef and the onions. What else, Farooq? We have to also add the grated uh, tomato to everything and mix it up well. Not to forget our spices. So after we put the spices, we just right. make sure we are stirring uh, everything, the whole mix, because we want to make sure the lentils is well cooked and the chickpeas is well cooked, as well as the beef that we already made sure it's cooked. So we add the water, okay. two liters of water, and that will make it rise and look like an actual soup, and you will see the mix getting together. But one tip we need to give is, you have to keep it for 35 minutes as we're closing it right now. We'll leave it for 35 minutes to cook only if you're, if you're using a pressure cooker. If you're using a normal cooker, then you have to leave it for one full hour. While the whole mix is cooking, it's time to do something fun. We have the flour right here and Farouk, you will do the honor of pouring the whole water. And now just mix and mix and mix. I'm a good mixer. I Great job, God. Farouk. You've I done God, the main, mixer. like the main step of the whole soup, of the whole harira. I, I wouldn't like. I cannot do it without you, man. Thank you. Thank I you. Know, so. I surprised myself. I know I'm you surprised me. You surprised the whole family. Mashallah, mashallah. We will open it again, and it's time, which we'll do the honor again of pouring this whole flour mix to the whole main mix. 
The main reason why we, why we are adding this flour mix is to yes. add more thickness to the texture of the soup, of the harira. Of course, we have to add the tomato, tomato paste. paste. And, and else? there's something else that we have. Yeah, one last thing we need to add, which is the vermicelli. Oh, the vermicelli. Yes. But yeah, you put them together, you mix them well together, okay. and by this time we'll be done. No more ingredients to be added, and the only thing you want to make sure is you're steering well, and the whole mix is getting together and into one lovely harira. Moment of truth. Oh my God, mashallah, 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 mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Amazing. Masterpiece, as we said, this is this a masterpiece. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you make harira. This is how you make harira. And uh, the only thing I would say, Ramadan Happy Kareem. Happy iftar and Ramadan Kareem. Happy iftar, Ramadan Kareem. Allahabad cooks the way you cooking this rapping low so Allahabad cooks we cooking something delicious Allahabad cooks the way you cooking this rapping low so Allahabad cooks